It is very straightforward how to add bullet points in Microsoft Word. Not so much in Microsoft Excel. Fortunately, it is easy and quick to add bullets in Excel once you know how it's done. Hi, my name is Jason Matthew and welcome to the Weekend EduTech channel. So in this example, I have a list of fruits that I would normally get from Trinidad and Tobago. Now, if I was in Microsoft Word and I wanted to add bullets to each of these fruit, I will go to the top menu and there'll be an option to click on to add bullets. Unfortunately, you don't have that option in Microsoft Excel, but you can still do it. But the first thing you have to do is select a symbol that you want to use as your bullet. So I'm going to click in cell B6. So that's where I'm going to be putting my symbols. And then I go to the top menu, I click on insert, and then I go to the far right of that menu bar, and there's a symbol option. I'm going to click on symbol, and the symbol dialog box will come up. Now this is where it gets a little different between people who are using Macs and Windows users. So if you're using Excel for the Mac, your dialog box will look like this. For Windows users, it's slightly different. And so it will be font dependent and you just have to scroll through the options there until you find the symbol that you want. One thing that might make it quicker is that on the right hand side there's a drop down box to filter out what you're searching for. And you could choose geometric shapes there. For Mac users, we have it a little easier. We have actually have a bullets and stars categories that you could choose from. So let's click on bullets and stars. And what I'm going to do is double click on the this circle, darkened circle here, that's a classic one. And what I might do is just scroll down a bit. And I'm going to choose two other symbols for this example. So I'm going to choose the check mark and I'm going to double click on the square here. So now I have three options as bullet points. So the only thing different between Mac users and Windows users is how this December dialog box looks like. But the whole process is the same. So moving forward, all the steps are the same. So I'm going to close off the symbol dialog box. And what I'm going to do is copy one of these symbols. So I'm going to start with the circle. So I just select it with my mouse. And then I click Command C or Control C if you're using a Windows to copy the symbol. Next, I select the list of fruits where I want to add that bullet to. And then I click on Command 1 or control one if you're using a Windows computer. And if you have been following my examples, you know what that's going to do. It's going to bring up the format cells dialog box. Make sure that the number tab is selected and then you select custom on the left. And what you want to do is that in the type box, you're going to remove the word general there, so delete the general. And we're going to apply some custom formatting. Now remember you had already copied the symbol. So now we click on Command V or Control V if you're using a Windows computer to paste the symbol in. You click on the space bar to create a space. And then you add the at sign. And once you do that, all you have to do now is click OK. And just like that, you have added bullet points. The great thing about it is that I can add to the list and the bullet points will keep adding. So let's say I add plum. There you go. It's adding the bullet points. So that's that's really cool. And let's say I wanted to change that bullet point. I don't like that bullet point anymore. All I have to do is go and select a new symbol. So that's in other words, repeat the process. So in this case, I'll use the check mark, Command C to, to copy it. And then I select my list. And I do Command 1 to bring up the format cells box. Go to custom. And in this case, I'm going to paste in the symbol that I have selected. So Command V, Control V for using the Windows computer, space bar to give the space, and the add sign. And once I click OK, now the bullet is a check mark. If you could get a symbol inside a cell in Excel, you could copy that symbol and do the same process 
and use it as a bullet. So I hope this video was useful. If it was, please show your, your love, like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Take care for now. Bye.